My marriage to Danny was wonderful at first. The first few years, we were very happy. Until I realized that I was not getting the attention I needed. He started to take me for granted. And it just brought on a very deep depression for me. Charlie was an escape from my depression, giving me the attention, telling me, God, I can't believe you look so great at 40. You're beautiful. And I felt very good about myself. One day, we went out to lunch, and we stopped by at his house. We were going to watch a movie. We were sitting on the sofa, and you, you, you could just feel this tension between us. And then the next thing I know, we were kissing. All I could think of was, his roommates are going to come home. And this is not going to look good. <laughs> you know, but it didn't stop me. It didn't stop me. That was when I realized I was having an affair. Emotionally, I was swimming all over the place because I had been married, you know, 15, 16 years at that point. And I never thought I would do that ever in my lifetime. But we ended up in the bedroom. And that was the first time Charlie and I had sex. It was exactly what I needed. It wasn't really just the sex. That wasn't great. I mean, it was just like, okay. But that wasn't what the important thing was to me. I mean, it's funny how people say, I bet it was wonderful, oh my God, he was younger, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, he didn't even know what he'd do. So, I mean, the first time I had sex with him, no, it wasn't anything to write home about. It's attention that I needed, and I was getting this attention by feeling this with this person. It was a connection that was making me happy, not the sex. After, we felt very guilty. So, we left. And we were both like, oh my God, that can't happen again. But deep down, I wanted it to happen again. And it did. 